everyone. What do we have here? On the seventh day of Vlogmas, what does Sandy Mom have for you? Some very interesting information that you may not know, or you've been doing it wrong, or who the heck knows. Uh, eggly tag, eggly tag. Six guys to two gone acid. Well, today I'm going to talk to you about the Christmas chain, which a lot of people refer to it as the countdown to Christmas. But really, it is the count up to Jesus' birthday in my religion. I don't know my channel my religion i'm just sharing my stuff so anyhow how you make a chain is you take construction paper red and green cut it doesn't have to be even mine is not even by any means if you have littler kids you put oh, you put the numbers on and you put the numbers see how the chain goes like this way like yeah, like that so you don't put the number going sideways, you put it this way, it's easier to see. I don't know, I remember that from somewhere, but, so that's what you do. So you number them from 25 up to 1. A lot of people probably do it from 1 to 25, but that's really not correct. Because we're not counting down to Christmas, we're counting up to Christmas. Because Jesus is the reason for the season. Why is that so? And why should we put Christ back in Christmas? Because there are many families that don't have Christmases year after year. And while all other kids, your kids, grandkids, everyone's kids are open up gifts and all, there are some families, and we've been in that place and probably will again this year, we celebrate Jesus' birthday. When my first set of kids were little, we used to make a cake, um, a birthday cake for the baby Jesus on Christmas Day. And then the kids were lucky because the next day was my birthday, so they got two cakes. But anyhow, back to the story at hand. So I made this. I continue to make it. Usually Polly helps me, but this year he's not. I guess when you're 16, you're just too cool. Too cool. <laughs> but anyhow... So I'm probably not going to number them all because Polly you know, knows how to count. But this is the 25, and then we haven't ripped it off because I was waiting to do the video for you guys. Then we got 24. So I'm just going to show you how to do it here. So let's see where I left off. The only thing that's kind of important, oh it isn't, doesn't matter, but I like to make sure the colors are right. So that's green. I like to start with red and end with red. Number one, I like the red color, but that's not the number one reason. Because Christ died for us on the cross, and he was nailed to the cross, and he bled. So, I really go with the meaning of Christmas. I've always done it. Even in our first marriage, when we were, you know, not hurting, we always donated a lot of Christmas time anonymously we did, like I said, another video, The Giving Tree. Um, we always gave. I always wanted to teach my children about giving because you never know if one day you're not going to get. And one day you can't even give. So the real meaning is with the colors for me and my family, what I've done. So I put this on here and now I've lost the little numbers. No, here it is. So... There's the numbers, but I put my pen away, so I'm sure y'all know how to write the numbers on here. So you write the number on here, pretend I wrote the number, and then the long way, you're going to stick it on there. And that's number one, and that will be, I'll tell you in a minute. I am so tired, I can't even believe I made the chain, but I'm going to show you something. I made a mistake, but I didn't bring the scissors in, but it doesn't matter because nothing's perfect in life, obviously. And I'm still burning hot. <laughs> okay. So this is green. So the next one will be red. So if you're in a hurry or maybe you're excited or it's the first time you're doing it or whatever, 
I actually did this the first year when my first child was born in August, so he didn't know. So we always did it so the new babies or toddlers or whoever they were used to get used to it. So I used to do it. I would tape all the way around, but as the years got leaner and after I foolishly remarried and then things just got worse and worse, I just did the tape like that, just across. Because if you can't afford it, you can't afford it. So if you're all excited about doing this and you do this and you go like, uh-oh, because I did this earlier when I was making the chain. Like, what? Because I don't know if I was excited or I just wanted to get it over with. And I hate to even say I have that kind of attitude, but you know, when you are chronically sick and there's no answer and you're burning up and you don't sleep and you can't eat, you get tired. You get tired. And then the YouTube debacle of why my comments are being shut off and... It doesn't even matter because no one, well, a few people, thank you, you know who you are, who at least come on and comment or say hi or something. So let me tell you, at times, I'm really, I'm contemplating on, after the new year, I may not have a channel anymore. I'm just really not feeling well. You know, you get to a point where if you don't enjoy something, should you really go on doing it? I hate letting people down, and that's how I've been my whole life, but... I got to think of my life and how much of my life I have left. And I don't know. I don't even know where that came from. Anyhow, so I guess about mistakes. This made me think about all my life mistakes. So if you do this, what I did originally when I did it, when I was doing the kitchen, I just cut it open. I know why I cut it because the first one I did the old fashioned way, I taped it all the way. So I just cut it and retaped it. But all you can do here is untape it but again this is dollar tree tape so this is probably not a good idea but anyhow then you just thread it through you see you got to thread it through before you tape it then you put it together a little you don't just put it like it then you got to make sure it leap, leaps over yeah it it folds over i don't know the phrase but i'm going to tape it again because this is a no it isn't the dollar tree tape this is expensive tape it should work but it doesn't look like it's going to stick Anyhow, uh, that didn't work either, so I'm going to rip it. Can't rip it. No scissors right now. I don't know. I did that all wrong. <laughs> Anywho, so that's number three. Then we got number two. So how's your Christmas? Do you do this countdown to Christmas, even though it's count up to Christmas? Because it's count up to Jesus' birthday and the real meaning of Christmas when we're all waiting for the birth of our Savior, Jesus Christ. As you notice, I don't have my little friends here, uh, Alfie and Mr. Penguin, Mrs. Penguin, excuse me, because I'm thinking, well, this common thing's been going on for over a month, but I think now because I have, like, children's stuff going on, and it's not a children's channel. I don't know what my channel is. It used to be under family, but I mark, no, it's not for children. I don't know. Do you even care about that? No. Hell yeah, we're to number one, which would be, I don't know. Let me figure this out and put you on pause because I didn't figure it out ahead of time. Okay, I figured it out. So, <laughs> when you take 25 off on December 1st, it's upside down. Okay, so on December 1st, you take off 25, which means... Okay, December 1st, you take off, so it's going to be hanging this way, because we're counting up to Christmas, not counting down. You hang it up, and if you've done change, you probably do hang it up, and you wouldn't be taking it off from the top, because then you'd have to retape it. So we're not counting down to Christmas, we're counting up to the birth of Jesus Christ. So back to the math lesson. So when you take this off on December 1st, Number 25, there will be 24 more days till Christmas. So this is good for little kids to count. You see what I mean? And then when you're at number one, it'll be Christmas Day. So there you go. It's an easy, simple thing. It's nice to do if you got elderly parents, grandparents, whatever. Just something nice. You know, this is just a nice kind of thing for anybody or any shut-ins, you know, or Back in the day when I was a Cub Scout leader for 10 plus years, um, we would do caroling and we'd hand these out. And um, I was a Girl Scout leader for a while, or Brownie or Daisies or all those things. So this will be Christmas morning. 
So it's like opening a gift for the poor children. They get to open this, rip it, whatever you want to do with it. But anyhow, so this is how you hang it. And number 25 is at the bottom. So we are counting up till Christmas morning, the birth of Jesus Christ, our Savior. So I don't know if you've done these things. Um, count count off to Christmas or everyone refers to it as a countdown. But it's fun to do. I'll probably do it when I don't even know if I'll be an empty nester because of Polly. But I'll just still do it. Like I said, I mean, he's interested in doing the chain, but not interested in helping me with it, which makes me sad, but whatever. I was going to do it with my granddaughter and open one every day and show her on a video, but they're kind of too busy for that, so I can't do that. Um, I had a lot of things planned with her, but, you know, that's the way it goes. That's the way the cookie crumbles, as they say. So that's that. Um, Alfie and Mrs. Penguin did tell you about it. I wasn't able to do an advent, um, an advent wreath. I love to do that every year. I'll be talking about that in another video. So anyhow, let me know if you do anything like this. This is one of my traditions I've done forever for all my eight kids, and I'll probably continue on. Construction paper at the Dollar Tree, you got probably many years, and then you could use other colors if you want, but I really like to use the red and green. So anyhow, don't forget to subscribe, like, hit the notification bell. If you hit the notification bell and know when I put up videos, if you like it, then it helps the algorithm. It puts my videos out there, which will grow my channel. Uh, but like I said, I may give up on the channel. I'm not a quitter, but I don't know. My channel's really not growing ever since Trolls came in. And if I give up my channel, I'll explain all the horror that you haven't heard about that happened to me when I was almost at a thousand subs. But anyhow, I'm trying to keep all the drama out of this. So maybe make one, even if you're, if you're alone or if, you know, for someone older or your grandchildren or whatever, it's fun, you know. I thought, why am I doing it? But, you know, it was fun. For the little time that I made this, it took my mind off my worldly problems. So for now, don't forget to be kind to people you don't know what they're going through. Be kind to yourself. Give yourself grace. Most importantly, stay safe. Bye for now.